If you're moving around a big city like Seoul, you may have found yourself too close to your destination to take public transport, but too far away to get there on foot. Well, now a number of so-called micro-mobility platforms are trying to close this gap with things like bike sharing. Our Also Young has more. It's one block too far to walk, but too close to take a taxi or a bus. In recent months, new sharing platforms have been popping up in Korea, creating dockless mobility solutions for commuting and traveling short distances around the city. A bike sharing service in Seoul offers rental rates of 201 or less than 20 cents for 10 minutes, compared to the fixed hourly rates charged by existing bike share platforms. Our service helps reduce commute time substantially and also makes it more enjoyable. Our users mostly use G-bikes for 15 to 20 minutes at a time, although some use it for much longer. As the bikes are dockless based on a GPS system, you don't have to look for a designated bike stand when you arrive at your destination. You can simply leave it there for someone else to use. Electric scooter rentals are also offering a more compact and speedier way to get around the city while beating the traffic and can go up to 25 kilometers per hour. Scooters have largely been used for leisure, but it's an ideal means of transport in a complex city. It's also eco-friendly. 80% of cars on the road are used by the driver alone. Electric scooters are one hundredth of their size and also consume one hundredth the amount of energy without emitting greenhouse gases. The number of users and the level of usage has grown threefold since March 1st. As popular and convenient as electric scooters are becoming, there are still some safety issues and regulations that need ironing out. Electric scooters can't be used on sidewalks or bicycle lanes, as they could pose a danger to pedestrians and cyclists travelling under 25 kilometres per hour. Platform companies have complained this hinders their businesses from growing. Given the surge in demand for micro-mobility services and promising market prospects, a transport ministry official has said some of these restrictions may be eased and some safety standards revised during the latter half of this year. Oh Arirang News.